to tell you, don't you? Yes, that I am a drunken waster. That's not what I mean. Drinking is your escape from your life. You hate your life, so you drink. My dear Helen, I'm very happy with my life. Why do all of you talk of nothing but the old days? Why does Joan play 15-year-old records in the gramophone? Why do you all talk of the old parties and the things you used to do and say? Why? You tell me, you're bound to know the answer. What would you most have liked to have been in life, David? What I am now. Supposing that were impossible? I don't know. I have no idea. I think you'd have liked to have been a historian, a great biographer, wouldn't you? I suppose it's possible. I think you'd have liked to have been able to look forward, instead of always looking back. You can start again, you know. No, I can't. With someone helping you, I think you can. someone down there a shower of whiskey. Uh, why didn't you throw it in the flower pot? It might have killed the flowers. <laughs> What's this doing here, for God's sake? It's all right. I'll take it and give it to Williams. We had a bit of an accident with a glass of whiskey. <laughs> Where's Peter? Has he deserted you? No, he's in his room. I'll go and get him. I'm hungry. What did that brother of hers say about you? What? Doctor man, what did he say about you? Oh, nothing. He said it was wind. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> I knew it was. He's very young. Does he know enough to be sure? Oh, I think so. Anyway, there's nothing the matter with me. Don't fuss. It's pretty good now that Helen's asking him round here. Yes, it was, wasn't it? You know, that girl's so crazily in love with you, it isn't funny. Or hadn't you noticed? Yes, I had noticed. Do you think Peter has? I don't know. I don't think it matters much. Do you? I don't suppose so. She's only got some kind of romantic schoolgirlish thing about you. She'll get over it very quickly. Luncheon is served, madam. Thank you, Williams. I better go and pull that hang of a hog out of his bed. Where do we have some music while we're having lunch? 
that. No. I wouldn't be a bore. You know I like it. <coughs> ah, now this tune I like. It has poignant memories for me. It has for me too. Do you remember when this tune first came out? And they played it at that party of Arthur Powers the whole evening oh, without stopping. That was a great party. <laughs> Will you ever forget Johnny Benson dressed in literally nothing, swinging from the chandeliers, and all the old dowagers staring up at him through their lorgnettes? <laughs> Poor Johnny. <laughs> Poor Johnny. Well, there was an accident that thing. The balustrade gave way. Come on, lunch. Well, if we're going to hear this thing at all, we'd better have it at full strength. Uh, David, you've forgotten your drink. <laughs> 